Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at my Steinhardt Ocean 39 Premium. Now, this watch has just been sent over to me from Steinhardt from Germany. And I believe I'm probably the first reviewer to actually get their hands on one. They are selling these directly from the manufacturer, which is Steinhardt. Or you can also get them at Norman Watches. They're about 900 bucks. I strongly suggest you pick one of these up. And here's the reason why. Rolex is no longer producing the 39 millimeter Explorer. So those who loathe to have that type of watch, this ticks all the boxes and then some. Trust me, it does. Now, let's just get right into this. This is the 39 millimeter watch. Um, I'll pull some measurements real quick. It's approximately about 14 millimeters thick. The lug to lug is a scant. Let's see what that is. About 46, 47. Then it's a 20 millimeter bracelet that tapers down. 16. This watch has perfect proportions in my mind and no crown guards as you know from watching my videos I don't need crown guards I don't I don't see why you need them now you have a signed crown with the Steinhardt logo beautiful action you have a domed sapphire crystal with double treated anti-reflective just on the inside. All the indices on this watch is applied. All of them are applied. They all are filled with a copious amount of BGW-9. The hands, the lollipop is BGW-9. And on this one you get a real nice dark Steinhardt dial with 39, 300 meter, 1,000 feet designation down there over 6 o'clock. And then the Steinhardt logo and the Steinhardt name right under the 12 o'clock triangle. This watch is a winner. Now, they don't make the Rolex anymore. So Steinhardt, this is what I believe is their first watch using 904L steel. See that? See if I can get that on there. Right there. 904L steel. Trying to let that focus right there. So this steel on here is 904L. It's a little bit uh, different. Um, holds a better polish than the uh, 9, than a uh, 316L steel. This still also is much more anti-corrosive, um, this 904 steel. Everything is 904. The clasp, the bracelet, the case, the bezel, and then you have the ceramic insert, rhodium-plated hands. You have an elaborate SW200 um, movement that's nice and decorated. See that movement is nicely decorated. Beats at um, 28,800 vibrations an hour. And I'll put that on the time graph for to show you what it's running. And this 904 steel, this anti-corrosive steel, was first pioneered on a on the Omega Plo Prof. You know, and then later on, uh, Rolex began to use it widely in all their watches, but it first was start being used by Omega about 10, 10 plus years prior to Rolex even thinking about using 904 steel. Omega um, first start using it first, and then uh, Omega copied off, uh, Rolex copied off of Omega. But Rolex is more famous for it. But it was a, an Omega thing, the 904 L steel. Now let's pop this on my time grafter so we can put it uh, put it through its paces. And see what it's running. Now this is a premium line watch from Steinhardt. And let it settle in. 
nice strong amplitude, 311 degrees, beat error 0.2 milliseconds, 52 degree lift angle, and you can see this is running spot on. Look at that. Zero seconds a day, 311 degrees, 0.3 millimeters of beat error, 28,800. So this watch is running spot on as it should for a watch that's costing about a thousand bucks. But the watch is awesome. I have to say it's awesome. I'll try it on my wrist, 7.25 inches. This watch is not equipped with the diver's extension, but it does have four uh, quick adjust uh, pinholes, and it also is affixed with screws, uh, not pins and sleeves on this one. That's what it looks like on my wrist, 7.25 inches. It looks great. This watch is wonderful. I'm so glad I purchased this. This is my first time I ever purchased a watch directly from a manufacturer. I circumnavigated the AD. And that is nice. Now, I'm going to take this off and we'll do a loom shot on here. And of course, I'll give you updates on this, how it's running and how it's wearing. Um, Later on, I'll give you like a six month update and then I'll give you um, a year update because I'm putting this in my permanent collection and I'm so glad Steinhardt went ahead and came out with this. That's the loom BGW9. It has a ton of loom on there. It's beautiful. This loom lasts all night. I wore it to bed last night, rolled over, and the thing was growing like a flashlight. So they did not skimp on the loom. It is a fully loomed bezel, ceramic bezel, um, 40 hours power reserve, 38 to 40 hours of power reserve, and this thing glows like a torch. I do believe this is going to be a watch that is going to be highly desirable because of Rolex discontinuing their 39 millimeter Explorer. This is what the Explorer should have been. If you're looking for something... 904 steel, 369 Explorer dial, copious amounts of loom, elaborate gate, uh, um, SW200, tuned up great, no pins and collars, screws, uh, 904 steel, sapphire back and sapphire uh, front, anti-reflective coating on the front, screw down crown, no crown guards, Lovely case profile. This is the one to get. This is the one I recommend. This is my watch. And this is what I'm going to be judging every other watch against. This thing is running spot on. One second a day. Beautiful watch. I can't say anything else more about it than go to Norman Watches or, or Steinhardt and pick one up. Basic clasp. I, I can't really say it needs a quick adjust but you know you can't have everything I mean you know it's always something you know it's always something on every watch this doesn't have a quick adjust class I wish it had one of those but it is a lovely two-tone um, bracelet polished center links brushed outer links beautiful drape the taper on a watch is lovely the case polishing is stellar this watch is just a world beater I really have to say it's just a world beater. Um, you got solid in links, all solid bracelet, Steinhardt quality throughout. I don't know what else to say except you need to pick one of these up. If you need a nice watch, don't be afraid. If your wrist is a little bigger, it'll fit just fine. As you can see on my 7.25 inch wrist, this is the one to get 39. This is the best fitting watch I've ever purchased this watch fits like a dream i'll show you one more time on my wrist anyway that's the watch once over this is the steinhardt uh premium 39 ocean one tell me what you guys think about this one my name is biggie god bless and i'll talk to you guys on the next one